So we're gonna go get some food real fast and then we'll start the day. We go to Tony's to get breakfast. I mean, let's just face it, if you guys don't go to Tony's to get breakfast, are you guys really from Saginaw? Which was good. But a lady actually bought my food and my buddy's food for us. And, I would, and plus her food. So I wanna say a huge shout out to her because we don't know who she is, but thank you. We truly appreciate it. So my package just came and I've actually been waiting. Stay, stay. I've actually been waiting for this for a few days. So let's see what's inside of it. All right, so got some shirts, more hats because we all know how much I love hats. Now this has probably been one of my cheapest shoes that I ever bought because look at this shoe, man. It's only 40 bucks, I'll take it. Now, I gotta go over some time before my golf practice starts, lessons, whatever you wanna call it. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. I was thinking about maybe washing my car, but I'm not sure if you guys can tell from outside the window. Um, it's kind of snowing outside, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just clean it out and wait for it to get better outside. And in all honesty, I really don't know if my coach is gonna allow me to record while we're in there, so I guess there's only one way to find out, and that is to ask him if we can. So as I'm about to leave, I realize that my car is completely trashed and I really need to clean it out. I have dress shoes in here that I don't even know what I'm using it for. Dude, I found some Twizzlers in there and they're not even open, right on. All right, now it's in the dead zone, let's get going. Godzilla, better hit the deck like the car dealer. My whole So that's definitely something that I did not expect. Five hundred dollars for some wheel bearings on both sides. But I mean, I guess if I don't wanna lose my tires I guess I'm gonna have to get it done so adulting sucks sometimes man and now it's time for golf practice so I know that they got some construction work and everything going on here right now but I'm not even sure I haven't seen that this place so let's just turn out this footprint so whatever the front door is locked so I'm really hoping that I'm at the right spot now because now I gotta go all the way across town just to figure out where the same thing's at. So, so that door was locked. Now, let's just pray that this is the spot. Because the golf room's right there at the very top. So I'm not even gonna lie, I went through that back door and I don't think I'm supposed to be in here right now. Consistencies that impact. Okay. Uh, one of which, so if you look at the screen, there's screen lens is where you are at address, screen right is where you are at impact. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, in this shot, they're the exact same degree. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they're not, that's what can cause a lot of those left shots. So you're having to really work hard to compensate mm -hmm. uh, to not hit it left and, and here's what I mean if this is my target line and I set up and I have let's say you're at about 13 degrees of forward press mm -hmm. with that face square 
unless I hit that 13 degrees of forward shaft plane at impact, mm -hmm. watch what happens to the face angle left and right as I bring the handle back. So it starts out, pulls up a little bit more. Correct. That's why that, that's why you were getting ticked because the ball was going left and it wasn't carrying as far because it was too low. Mm -hmm. We weren't spinning the ball enough to, to have that effective carry. So if we can go from really leaning the shaft forward to having the shaft lean, let's say halfway between your left hip and your belly button, okay. we're gonna be in a little easier position to miss less left. I just, you know, we talk about bounce. Yeah. But with your irons, there's also bounce. Mm -hmm. And the second we really lean that shaft forward at a dress, mm -hmm. we take all the bounce away. And it's fine off of a mat. Yeah. If we get out the grass, you're gonna get punished. Let's spray that face, see where we're hitting it. Okay. Plus. That's better, still a little toey. This number right here, mm -hmm. with a pitching wedge up to like, let's say five iron, should be greater than 45 degrees. Should be greater? Yeah, and, and that's where you're at. But if we look back to where you were, that's 35. I mean, that's that's a big difference. Yeah, because what you're looking at is how long is your first hop? Mm -hmm. How far do you carry the ball? And then the more it's laying it like an airplane, when it hits that first contact, that big that's gonna be a big first hop. If you're coming in more like a helicopter, now that first hop's smaller. That carry distance, total distance is much closer together. Try and hit one a little closer to the heel for me. Okay. Does that have anything to do with like my setup when I'm standing too far away from the ball? It's just kind of my swing pad. In terms of the toe contact, mm -hmm. that club can probably stand up a little taller. Like that? Uh, at a dress, meaning more this way. Oh, this way? Yeah. Okay. So if you got to crowd the play a little bit more, mm -hmm. so to speak, to, to get in that position, I want that shaft kind of pointed right at your belt buckle. Okay. And if we have a ton of knee flex, that takes it down, right? Points that the more upright the club is at impact, mm -hmm. the more left it's going to go. Staying a little tall in your knees, straightening your knees a little bit more is going to stand that club up a little bit more naturally. There you go. Good. That one's dead to me. And that five's really good. Same, same posture. That's the one thing I got to remember is the posture part, just making sure that I stand straight up. Showing by me seeing that it makes you feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah, path has changed drastically in the last, let's say, a couple of years. 
couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a big, big jump. So. All right, so practice was a success, huge success. If you guys need to see a good pro, Kyle Martin is definitely the one to go to. You know what, I'm actually very, very pleased with how well I did today. You know, my angles weren't too far off. Like my lines, my shots are like all going in the same direction. I mean, obviously, yes, there's still things to work on, but like I am a lot more happier right now than I've ever been with how my game even looks. It's the beginning of the year. Watch out, districts, because I'm coming for you.